We're live. Good morning. You can tell it's 10 o'clock here on, what is this, the first Tuesday of the month? Because the uh, tornado test system is running outside right now. And I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but it's, uh, it's actually kind of a pretty serious thing because I think there were some tornadoes here recently. Not not so much in the in the city here, but I guess in our, our region. Pretty powerful stuff. <laughs> it's kind of scary. Uh, all right. Oh, are you hearing my voice though, Dia? Yeah, I have this mic set up so it like you can't hear too much of the rest of the room because it's a workshop here and we got a lot of machines and stuff going on, um, which are endearing and fun, but it's probably not the best to listen to for 15 minutes here. I've got a poll going right now that people are responding to. And this is great to see. <laughs> it's a very scientific poll with three words best shell color and I only was able to type in four different options so I just picked what I like I mean I like all of them <laughs> but the you know there's also all the variations like if you choose color eight for example you can do reverse color eight you can do marbled color eight do an inverted color eight which I don't know if we've actually did we do inverted date I don't know if we've actually done inverted color eight that's interesting I hadn't thought of that uh, oh man, it's a close one. We got a we got a horse race here. I brought up those. I was thinking of that question because if you look in the uh, the bottom right here, this is um, what's on the table behind me, and you can see a Johnny the Fox there. I forget the count. There might be ten different colors of shell cordovan in that fox right there, and it might be the most epic cordovan wallet that we've done. And I'm really excited to show you it to you. I think. The uh, future owner of that wallet was asking to asking me about it yesterday in yesterday's live stream video. I wasn't actually aware of it until today. He was collaborating uh, on this special makeup with my brother, Matt. So on that note, if you want to make something special for yourself, we do charge a little bit of extra money. It's 10% off the base price of like what a, a normal version of that wallet would cost. So I think it's very reasonable. And if you want to wait, uh, a little bit of time for us to put that together for you, we can do it. So the best way to set up made to order, if there's something that you want to see exist in the world, a wallet maybe that you want to wear for the rest of your life, uh, we can help you with that. So send an email to my brother, Matt, and the address is info at ashlandleather.com. I'm, I'm just chilling here waiting for these votes to come in. I think I think we got a good amount of votes here. <laughs> All right, let's say hi to everybody. Dia's here. Dia was here early. I saw you, saw you lurking, Dia. Good to see you again this morning. Good morning, Quan. Hi, Oyster. AKS Minster. Familiar face. Good to see you. Not surprised it was close because you literally couldn't decide. Yeah, all the colors are pretty nice. You know, when I have people come into the workshop here that are not necessarily familiar um, with all the options, it's actually kind of better. Because uh, like yesterday, for example, I had a, a gentleman come in and I said, you know, what are you looking for? I'll, I kind of, I want something to hold on my stuff. <laughs> like, okay, cool. You know, what leathers do you like? Do you have any colors in mind? Oh, I really want the cordovan. So I think people know they want cordovan. But then when they come in, they're again, not aware that, you know, a wallet behind me can have 10 different colors. So usually the conversation is starting with the function. You know, what do you want to? carry in this thing how many cards do you carry how much cash do you carry front or back pocket and then the second question is almost always do you want it to change in a dramatic way as you wear it do you want the color to change do you want the luster to change and based on what this customer yesterday was telling me he really wanted that exciting change and he was between color eight and natural and i said this is an easy choice for you because that color eight shell it's not going to change a lot sure it's really beautiful and will always be beautiful but if you want a development of color and luster you have to start with the lighter shades uh to have anywhere to go with it so he ended up picking the natural and was super excited i think he said it was you know he's for has his first um adult job for a few years here and he wanted to uh treat himself to a wallet that uh, wasn't you know like i had worn for years like a wallet from uh, i'll go with a company that doesn't exist like a wallet from kmart or something you know, something that wasn't necessarily special, but was just like just served a function that he wasn't loving and just wanted to love the things he was using. I thought that was really cool. Sherman's here. What's up? All right, let's flip it around. 
I'm just blabbing on here. Ooh, a Dublin belt. That might be your belt. I think that was the only belt that was ordered over the last day. So that's what we're going to look at on the table right here. With the exception of one wallet, this is everything that was ordered over the last 24 hours. And I'm really um, thankful for you guys to support us. We're going to take a look at them. And the caveats that I give every day is that these are things that are still needing to be worked on. So the goal for today for us is to finish up and polish up all the edges, polish up the grains, make everything look clean and nice, and then ship them out to you. So this is our goal for uh, our finishing team today uh, and shipping team to get all that sent out. And then we've got a special Johnny the Fox. Maybe we'll lead off with that. So I'll flip it around. We'll take a look at some really super crazy stuff. <laughs> look at that. Oh, I'm just hitting everything on the way. I do it every time. Okay. So look at this guy. How about that? So this is a what, the made to order Johnny the Fox that I was talking about. And I peeked at this for maybe 10 seconds because I didn't want to spoil my excitement for it. Um, but I did receive a message from my brother that uh, this customer wanted to see this on video today so i wanted to share this first with you and it's you know i don't know the details of these but i can try to guess at uh, what the colors are uh, so custom made johnny the fox here that was specked out um, to this customer specs and it's got a lot of colors so on the outside and i love this choice for the outsides of wallets this is the raw natural shell cordovan much lighter in color doesn't have very much luster at all as you can see, it has that little bit of a sheen to it there. But as you wear this, that luster just becomes more and more glassy. It's, it's really, really beautiful and really special um, to impart that and imprint it onto your wallet that you wear every day. You'll also notice this chunky, bold stitching along the outside and the inside of this wallet, and that is our hand stitching. It's pretty expensive to do. It takes us about a half a day uh, to stitch one of these up. Um, so it costs a bit more money. I don't necessarily I don't necessarily suggest it unless you love this look of a bold chunky thread. So let's take a look at the leathers on the inside. You'll notice this one also has been specked out with a bill slot divider. And I should mention we haven't started working on the edges of this guy yet. So this is not complete. We've got this bill slot divider, and I think this is blue shell cordovan, like a denim blue. So it might be a little bit hard to see on camera. And then the top here, this looks like green. And I couldn't tell, it's like cigar or mahogany. There's all these like rare brown shades that sometimes we get like a little piece of. So there's like mahoganies and like variations on those lighter, uh, like more true browns with less red to them. I'm not sure which one that is. This looks like another blue here. Might be cigar on the bottom. This, this is color eight. I couldn't tell what this one was. Like one of these might be, um, might be like Ravello. It's hard to tell. Pretty sure this is garnet. I'm not sure if that's whiskey. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to see in the in the uh, light here. Could be whiskey. Could be color like a really light color four. And then on the top, this is natural. So we've got a ton of different shell colors. And honestly, I'm surprised. For me, this works. I'm surprised that it works because usually uh, there's for me. I've noticed. Uh, simple is better so i i like uh, either one or two colors sometimes when people get really excited about all the different shell colors just like the colors in the pole here people get really excited and they want all of them but sometimes it's best to simplify and just like all right let's just make this like really nice let's just do raw natural and denim like that's a good combo but when you add like a garnet and uh, ultraviolet to it is like kind of takes away from everything and makes everything like a look a little bit muddy. But this one's very different, and I don't understand why I feel that way. But it just feels correct. <laughs> I normally don't love all the different colors together, but I think this one's a vibe. It's really really cool. So special Johnny the Fox going out today, and thank you so much, um, Mister Mister or Mrs or whomever picked this one up. I really appreciate it, and I'm so excited to finish this one up and send it your way today. All right, somebody was asking about the belt. Let's get into some of the other stuff that we're shipping out today. By the way, I can't see the chat. It's so far, so far away. <laughs> it's gotta be eight feet away from me. All right, we've got a belt here. This is English Tan Dublin. This one is going to be made into a size 32. So person in the chat, 
who picked this one up or thought this might be yours. If you're size 32, it's likely yours. So still need to finish up this guy, uh, cut off the, um, the buckle end of it or the adjustment side end of it and get that one sent. It's, I love English Chan Dublin and the pieces of Dublin that we've been cutting from, and we're trying to restock the Dublin belts. They're just so nice, super, super nice stuff. All right, speaking of super nice, black shell cordovan here. This one's a little different because we have the black horsehide latigo on the interior. People recently have been coming to us for the 100% shell wallets, which, uh, like, here's a here's a better example. Here's a 100% color eight shell cordovan. People are really digging this look, especially with the hand stained matching edges on the on the color eight at least. But uh, I actually like I like them both. I put more cards in my wallet, so I tend to like the wallet to start off a little bit thinner. So you can see that the leather on the horsehide interior, excuse me, the black option with the horsehide interior is a little bit thinner. It might be hard to see, but when you feel in your hand, it's significantly different, much more thin. So I like to stack multiple cards in each of the slots in here. Some people just want to put one card in each. So I think the one card in each person um, that wants Cordovan, this is the way to go with the shell interiors. But otherwise, if you're putting a bunch of stuff, I, I like the thinner uh, wallets personally. I have another Fox here, and I think we just restocked these two. There's, <laughs> there's a couple of them, and they're super nice. Natural Shell Cordovan Johnny the Fox with the reverse interior. These are really, really clean looking. And our team is doing a great job with the construction here. As you can see, it's just like it's flawless looking, especially with the cutting. Like everything's just so nice. I mean, great. Johnny the Fox is going out today. I have a couple more natural pieces. This is the vertical card slot Bugs Moran in the natural shell. You can see we haven't finished the edges on this guy yet either. But I like to spin the shells around because you can see the color sort of like change in front of your eyes. So maybe a little lighter at some angles and a little bit darker at others. It's it's pretty, pretty interesting. And one more natural shell wallet. Actually, I got a couple more. Here's a Capone money clip in the natural shell cordovan. You can see on this one, we've done a little bit of that waxing and burnishing. So everything's like a little bit more filled in and smooth, a little bit shinier for the waxed and burnished edges. Here is the other natural shell piece, Tony the Ant in natural shell cordovan. We've got the exterior bill slot and the four card slots on the inside. And the only other natural shell piece is this guy here, key fob loop. We got a key fob loop going out today, also a natural shell. And then I have a couple, this is also new. We've restocked some natural shell cordovan 20 millimeter watch straps. And I believe we will be putting up some natural shell cordovan Apple watch bands into our inventory on the website, uh, maybe later this week, I'm not sure. So this is a 20 millimeter lug width on our natural shell cordovan watch band. And these are unlined straps. I find the shell cordovan to be really amazing as an unlined watch band because of how it wears in and molds and conforms to your wrist. I find it to be very, very comfortable. It's a little bit thinner than the, um, like a Chrome Excel one here, but I think it's a little bit more refined as it's thinner and perhaps a little bit more comfortable. It's just in my experience, some people really like the, the thicker, chunky uh, watch bands. So I have an Apple watch band here. This one was made to order in black Chrome Excel. So it's fun to start seeing some more watch straps uh, coming up, we've been sold out for a long time, which is a bummer, but really pushing hard to get watch bands back in stock, especially on uh, the Cordovan first. We get a lot of people wanting Apple watch bands, and they've it's been probably been months that they've been sold out. All right, we've got a one-shot card case in the new Royal Blue Cypress. Still need to finish up the edges on this guy, but I really like the blue color. Customer I was telling you a story about earlier today, or I was telling you about earlier that happened yesterday, he saw the blue wallets. He's like, he laughed at it. He's like, there's no way I'd carry a blue wallet. I'm like, that's cool, man. Like, I really like it. But I could see how this would be a little bit too loud for some people. I think it really makes a statement. And I I really like mine. So let me show you my Herbie in the Royal Blue. We do have that Capone going out. But look how awesome the luster uh, development has been on this Royal Blue, uh, on my Herbie at least. Very, very filled in as I wear it. I haven't added any product to this and I haven't polished it. I just wear it and forget about it. I did throw this in a bag with some keys when I was on vacation a month or so ago, two months ago. Um, so it, it did scratch and scuff, but you can see those have just gone away naturally. So it's a very resilient and very, very tough leather. I'm loving it. 
I really, really like uh, the Royal Blue Cypress. And I think a lot of stuff is sold out right now. We have, I think it's another one I want to stock. All right, Black Shell Court of, uh, excuse me, a Black Dublin Capone Money Clip. Also great character on this Dublin. Take a look at that. Really, really nice. I think there's, I should just say, like most everything that I'm showing you here, we don't have a ton of stock of, with the exception of like the English tan foxes that we just restocked. All right, 100% color HL Cordovan Capone Money Clip here also. Take a look at the hand-stained edges. It matches the color of the shell Cordovan perfectly. I just think that's such a clean, beautiful look. Here's another color HL piece. This is the Tony the Ant, which is the baby brother to the Herbie that I wear. No Herbies on the table today. Bummer. My favorite wallet. All right, we got color HL Cordovan all over the place. And then again, those matching hand-stained edges. Got a couple English tan pieces here to look at. Uh, Johnny the Fox here. Uh oh. I'm making a like a trip wire across the room here. All right, Johnny the Fox here in English tan Dublin. 100% English tan Dublin. I th think there's a, a few more English tan pieces, but they're on Capones. But let's compare the uh, grain character because all of them are very, very different. You'll notice that every wallet here has like a very different amount of character. It's a little bit flatter and more even on this Capone here, which is also very nice. But this is all in saying that these are all unique. <laughs> so no two pieces are alike because there's no heavy finish layer over the top of the grain. So you get a very natural appearance of the Dublin, but with that natural appearance comes a lot of variation, which I think is beautiful. And here's the last Capone. Pretty similar on those three Capones, but the leather does change quite a bit. All right, here's another Dublin wallet. We've got black Dublin with the teal horsehide latigos on the interior, and here's the last one. Same piece here. Really nice black Dublin. You can see a little bit of dust on it, but you can see this one is a little bit flatter in character with less striations than the Capone that we looked at earlier. And again, this is sort of a natural thing that we see uh, in the Dublin uh, and Essex and the Derby leathers from Orwin, all that stuff that's tanned with the same tree barks as the Shell Cordovan, we get to see a lot of character of. So those are everything that we're going to try to, that was ordered over the weekend, that we're going to try to send out today. Oh, keep hitting everything. I'm back. Okay. I'm going to stop the poll and guess who the winner is. Can you believe it? Natural Shell Cordovan. That's really cool to see. Uh, it's also very interesting how close uh, everything was. And to Dia's point, like it's pretty hard to pick. It's pretty hard to pick. Um, you know, I honestly, ideally, I, I like to wear one and love it for a long time. But, you know, there are other leathers, so I like to try and experiment with different things, but I really want to wear it hard and see how it changes. So I tend to stick to a color for a while and it's a bummer because you can't try all the colors at the same time. All right, let's see what you guys are chatting about. I kind of didn't love the um, Q&A feature here in YouTube. I'll just read the chat. All right, um, Jaren's here. Good morning, Jaren. Hi, Wes F. Mike Cruz. Oh man, my cruise. I still think about um, my buddy that works at the tannery with the same name. It's good to see you. Um, Sigurd's here. That's a funky looking wallet. Yeah, it actually kind of works, right? I thought it was really, really neat. This is, you, if you were to have described that to me, I would just be like, nah, I don't know. But seeing it is a very different thing. Darker whiskey is a good call, Sherman. That piece that might have been a darker whiskey. I couldn't really tell what it was. Uh, Garnet Chokor of India is very, very red. And we've noticed on that specific color, we've seen a, a pretty wide variance in the color range uh, of the Garnet shells that we've received. So sometimes it kind of encroaches towards the color four shade meaning that it's a little darker and a little bit more brown. And then other times, it appears to be very, very like cherry. And there is a depth of color, so depending on what angle you look at, it might be more or less red. 
but it's uh, when it's right, it's really nice. I really like that garnet, and especially how it wears into. It kind of wears in to become more like a color four, color eight thing, which makes sense. It's electric. Uh, DS is the reverse interior for the naturals. Nice too. It works. It works really well. I really like the reverse interiors for how they wear in. But I also like that it makes it like a, a little bit more of a unique look. And if you put that wallet side by side by the 100% color eight shell, for example, it's two different people in my mind. You know, the person wearing the full shell is a little bit more dressed up, a little bit more refined. The person wearing the reverse interior with that natural uh, shell on the outside really wants to make a statement, really wants, really cares about something that's a little bit different, wants to be a little bit more unique, I think. And there's ne neither of those are wrong or right. It's just different. Uh, I don't know if we have a multicolor Tony in the works, but it sounds like you might know if you're asking about it, maybe put an order in. Honestly, I don't see, I don't look through the uh, made to order stuff as much as I'd like. We are, I know we are always working on made to order. And I think I'm, because of some recent illness, I've missed out on doing some videos of the made to order stuff. I like to do like a little collection video of like, hey, here's all the special creations that you guys made. Um, so I haven't done that in a few weeks. Um, normally something like that Fox we just looked at would be included in one of those videos. Um, so I'd like to do that again. It's fun to look at all the crazy, awesome stuff. Uh, Sherman likes all the colors. It's crazy. Uh, Sager says, can't wait for the made to order passport wallet. You picked a whiskey shell. Nice. We're actually working on some new passport holders right now. And I'm expecting to put those out this, this week. Uh, Dia says fascinating about the garnet shell very so much. It makes sense. You know, there is also a story that is the truth to be told here about the light color shells and the reason that you don't see more of them is because not every piece of cordovan is starts as the appropriate shade to create lighter shades. So for example, you know, if the hide is a little bit dark or some of the oils create the hide to be a little bit darker and, and then you tan it, you know, it might be darker than garnet already and might be only appropriate to use in a darker shade like a cigar or color eight or um, maybe even like a navy or black. Um, so there are only certain amounts that can be used for natural shell or garnet, color four even, amaretto. Those lighter shades are more difficult for Horween to be able to produce. Oh, you did a passport in the deer skin. That's gonna be cool. I didn't read that, <laughs> but that's going to be really cool. I think there's a deerskin wallet up in the private stock right now, by the way. I, it's that deerskin is so cool looking. It's a derby. It's like the, it's kind of like Dublin from Horween, but tanned on the deer and then they tumble it. So it's got this like really cool broken up sort of crackled effect. Uh, o Oyster has a great question. Is Alden Ravello the same as another non Alden color? No. It's my understanding that Ravello is exclusive to Alden and that color, there's an agreement with the tannery that they will only make it for Alden. And I think there's like a, you know, a trade-off for a company like Alden, an example like that. So for example, if I wanted a special color called Ashland Tan and Horween uh, were to give that to me, the trade-off would be is I'd have to buy as much as they could make of it. <laughs> For, forever otherwise they'd give up the name because you can't get an they don't do exclusives so ba basically that's alden uh, saying like we'll buy as much of this ravello as you can make for us um waiting on uh daniel chambers good to see you waiting on a blue uh blue marble shell and teal inverted bugs nice oh yeah i'm sorry to keep you waiting daniel I don't know where that one is, but I would love to show it if we can see it. Uh, or if I, if I see it and I can put together an MTO video, I will do that. Dia says, so the reverse interior is like the big belt buckle or unusual socks tie while otherwise well-dressed. I think that's... So I've always felt like a, a mullet is a good analogy, but I like where you're going with this too. 
I think the the reason that I think mullet makes more sense is because like sometimes you can't really see him like I don't know I'm not like super mullety right now but sometimes when you're looking at me straight on you can't really see the party in the back <laughs> so um I think it's a, l- a little bit more of an interesting analogy because those wallets like if you look at the outside you're like oh this is like super clean and nice and you flip it open you're like that's a individual you know <laughs> it's, a, it's very uh distinct so thanks for checking out everything uh, today, guys. I love doing this with you. I love seeing you guys in the chat. I love looking at the leather, including that really, was it 10 colors? I, I should have counted. I think we have 10 different colors on that fox. Mullet analogy. Everything should be a mullet analogy. All right, got a bunch of work to do today. Again, I appreciate you guys being here. Oh, I forgot to thank everybody that's ordered over the last 24 hours here. So if you hear your name, um, I really appreciate you very much. And you probably just saw your item on the table there if it's not made to order. So thanks so much to Bailey D, Muhammad H, Alex K, Tomohiro S, uh, John A, Tyler S, Andrew T, Donald C, Scott T, Sean P, Ian M, Tucker L, Benjamin C, Iki K, Jonathan, Brian G, Juha P, Kevin B, Daoud H, who was here yesterday, George, Sean B, Joey L, Will, Carlos V, Melissa I, Kelsey N, and that's it. Appreciate you guys very much. I'll try to be back again. I don't think tomorrow's going to work, but Thursday I should be here next. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you later.